Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's episode of the It's Just Dinner podcast. I'm your host, Tom Robinson, and sitting right across from me, my co-host, Bob Walls. Glad to be here, Tom. Good to see you. It's good to see you, too, and it's it, this is a big day. It is a big day. This is probably the biggest day we've ever had so far on in the this, It's Just Dinner in podcast. In this room, not only do we have a guest with us, yes, we have, for the very first time, a the, live... The first time. The very first time, a live studio audience. A live Let's studio hear. audience. <laughs> Yeah. There you go. That. It's exciting. Yeah. That it's is exciting. Well, it's, it's the first time we've ever done this. I quite like it. It's exciting. Let me introduce Lo- uh, Lauren over on the yes. uh, engineering board. Hello. Lauren? There she is. Yes. Good I'm to here see you. yet again. Yet again. Yes. She and keeps she, just keeps coming back. You can get her email address. <laughs> at it's just dinner YSA. Yeah. Um, with us today, I have a guest sitting right next to me. Yes, I see him. This is Robert Rex. Robert, welcome. Hello. Glad to have you here on the It's Just Dinner podcast. This is probably the biggest thing that's ever happened to you in your life, isn't it? <laughs> I, just about. I, I can't think of very many bigger than this. This yeah. is it. This Ro- is Robert it. is I've, from I've uh, he's from the faraway land of Orem, Orem, Utah. I've been there. Yes. Yeah. I've actually driven through there. Really? Wow. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> and Welcome. Glad to have you here And today. Robert is holding on to a guitar. <clears throat> he is holding noticed? a guitar. I noticed that. I assume he's probably going to play that thing. We're going to have him sing for Let us. Sing. He has a great song. Uh-huh. I'm going to go ahead and give the title away before he has a chance to. Okay. It, the title, get this, is I am single, but I'm happy. Oh, there you go. Yeah, is that I'm, an oxymoron? Can you be single and happy? <laughs> I I don't know. I, I think so. <laughs> I, I'm still single, apparently but I'm you, happy. You, you can, and happy. you can write a song about it, apparently. So yeah. are you a songwriter by trade? No. I uh, I mean, I love music, and I grew up dancing, clogging. I was uh-huh. on the pole dance oh, team nice. at BYU. And so wow. I... Music has been a part of my life and rhythm for a long time. Western clogging or river dance clogging? Uh, Western. Western clogging. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm that's glad great. you know the difference. Yeah, well, come on, everybody, very, knows, very everybody knows <laughs> the difference. I mean, the, you don't know the difference between Obviously, Western and, and river clogging dance? Come is on. Clogging is clogging. I didn't <laughs> you, know there you was need a, to get out more, I Tom. Do. I do. I'm stuck at home too much. So, well, what's the inspiration for this song? I mean, other than being single. So. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This is working out we have to, great. We have to cue in our live audience here <laughs> to get them to laugh. Yeah, our, our jokes aren't funny enough, I guess. I guess not. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. I, I think, you know, it's, it's really funny because I, for the longest time, I was kind of really closed about my dating life I, it wasn't something that i would talk about openly with people mm-hmm. and so the fact that i wrote a song about being single i think is kind of it's like an oxymoron for me yeah. and <laughs> but it i i came to this point where i in the past i've been in like what i would consider serious relationships with people where um probably about two but they didn't work out and i was finding myself turning 25 and it was the week before my birthday and i was just strumming a chord progression with my brother on the guitar and kind of like singing about like, I'm still single, ha ha ha. And then my brother Samuel starts to rap along with it. And so we oh. get a little bit of this, little bit of this like, I'm still single. And then there's like a rap and took those ideas home. And with my roommates was messing around, Daniel's here today. And, and we, uh, we just came up with this song and it was mm. really fun and catchy. It got stuck in our heads. We showed it to the people in our ward. It got stuck in their heads. Mm. And so we were just like, there might be something to this. And so... We, we my, call that in advertising an earthworm. A and, song that gets stuck in your head stuck in your head you can't get it out. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it's an earworm. Is it an earworm? <laughs> <laughs> Not an earthworm. Oh. <laughs> okay. An earworm. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm asking the advertising professional, but, uh, you know. Yeah. So have you performed this... On a podcast before? No, this is the first, the first time. time. Yeah. Have you performed this in front of a live studio audience? <clears throat> <laughs> on a nationally syndicated podcast? Yeah. No, no. We, I we can't do reach say that each I coast. Am. Yes. Wow. Well, I, uh, no. Well, after this, you still won't have, but <laughs> it's, it's fun for us to pretend for a minute, isn't it? Well, I, are we going to get to the song here? I'm anxious to hear the I'm song. I'm anxious to hear it, too. Are you guys ready? Now, uh, you brought some uh, backup singers. Would you like to introduce those people? Yes. Who happen to be the same people that are in our live studio audience. Yeah, today. so who's going to clap while they're singing? Um, yeah, so this is my, uh, my sister, Gina, my brother, David, and my cousin, 
Daniel. Yes. Um, and we are gonna gonna sing. I'm still single, but I'm happy. Nice. For okay. you today. Um, Go right ahead. I'm anxious <clears throat> to hear this. Me too. Hit it. My name is Robert, and I just turned 25. I drive a nice car, and I'm a really, really, really nice guy. My luck with the ladies really hasn't been that great. But I know one day I'll find a celestial maid. I'm still single, but I'm happy. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're really, really not. I'm still single. Dito na ako, bunta ng lima Meron na silang asawa pero ako pa wala Nag-aaraw pa ako sa oskwela, honey Brigham Young Kay Luzon ng jowa, wala akong ganyan Naging misyo na ako sa kabila ng mundo Kung bansa ba na Pinas ang pinuntahan ko Pero lahat ng nirareto, wala pang totoo Kami ng pag-ibig ay di pa rin nagkakasuto Pero, at pwede naman akong bumalik sa Pilipinas Para makahanap ng asawa Kasi marami pa sila na gustong maghanap ng kanon Nakatulad ko, pero ano pa rin ba ako? Pinatapan naman, ano? I'm still single, but I'm happy. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're really, really not. I'm still single, and it's cool. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's really, really not. I'm still single, but I'm happy. I'm still single, and I'm fine. I'm hearing what you're saying, but you just don't understand. I walk all over campus, everybody's holding hands. I'm trying to be patient, you tell me just wait. But it's really, really difficult to get a second date. I'm not worried, I am just fine. Hanging out with the boys, yeah, we have a good time. Whatever the weather, no matter the day, I know that my mother's a phone call away. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'm still single and I'm happy. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're really, really not. I'm still single and it's cool. Amazing! What a song! You know, it's, it's one of those things where it was much better than I thought it was. Gonna oh, be. it was! Yeah, I was kind of thinking, okay, well, what's this going to be? But I mean, that was incredible! Wow! It was, you know, it was really good. That was amazing! Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Like honest? That was uh, honest. That no, was so it, was, it was really, really good. Uh, let, let's. How much do we have to pay him to make that the theme song I, for the Is that, Just Dinner <laughs> podcast? I think we somehow we need to get that. Yeah, we need to. Again. Well, we need to get somehow the rights to this before it. It goes Go big. Before it blows up so on we can uh, still get Apple, it. Apple Music. We, we, if we traded you like a couple of Cokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't drink Coke, but I could find someone. Who okay, would, a couple would of, drink the Coke. whatever, a couple of Sprites. A couple of knee highs. <laughs> yeah. What do they drink in Orem? I guess they, Coke has not made it. Just like, it's not in Orem yet. <laughs> no, I had it. water. Did, I had a track coach that made me swear off soda, and I never oh. went back. Well, I thought maybe it was a Wild. clogging thing. You know, clogging <laughs> yeah. soda, they don't go clogging. to Clogging. Yeah, clogging The soda. river dance people, they drink soda, but right. they the western, soda. western <laughs> clogging they don't drink soda. Well, that was, ju- that was absolutely just amazing. It was. That was a lot of fun. Well, it was the, the music was good. The backup was incredible. I mean, it really I, I mean, yeah. it was good. So what language was this in this, uh, the, the, your speaking part there, cousin? So it was in Tagalog. In Tagalog, yeah, language of the Philippines. Oh, so now, wow. well, now we can go big and we've been trying to break into the Philippines. We have, it's, we've <laughs> but we've been, about that we've been, <laughs> we've been mostly in Ilongo, so the Tagalog, I don't know. Sabuano is more big there. In the Subwano. folks in the Philippines now will have heard our podcast, and yeah. they will, they'll be well, with the, us. the the ones who speak Tagalog. Yeah, so well, if they understand my it, Tagalog, that's the one. well, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure they will. Um, yeah, the, so that was fun. What were you actually saying? You weren't using swear words or anything that we're going to oh, get sued that. by the FCC. <laughs> or, yeah. The FTC will shut us down. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's kind of similar to Robert's versus just sharing my own story, but just in the language of the Philippines. Oh. I just thought it would be an 
cool way to relate. It is a cool way. Yeah. <laughs> it was really fun. That was very fun. There were so many aspects of that that I thought were just very cool. And you know? the and the snarkiness of the background. Well, the singers. little sister was a little bratty. I thought. I'm sorry, Gina. <laughs> but that was a little... oh, no, you're not. You're not. <laughs> What's up with that? I mean, you guys trying to do something here, and you're you're nagging them. We only speak the truth. Oh, oh, oh. We only speak uh, the truth. We only speak the oh, truth. Wow. That's, that's, that's that's she's kept me to the core, didn't she? That's she's great. Um, take that. it's, so. It's so fascinating to me. The song was really great. I mean, it was really good. It is catchy, and it's a great tune, and it was fun. It had so many aspects of it. But it's interesting, the meaning behind this yes. is, I think, the reason that we're looking at this for is, and th there's the perception, and I'm assuming that's why the, the, the way reason you compose the song, is that if you're 25 and you're not married, you're not okay. You're miserable. Yeah, I think that's kind of like <laughs> Did that just yeah. did you just realize that? No, look I, on your I, face mean, was like, I was like, oh, like oh, yeah, I, I guess that's what he's like, wait, I am 25 and single. <laughs> well, because I think there's that quote from Brigham Young, right? That's like, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah he said a lot of stuff. Don't let's not go with him. Um, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he, he, he was we were we were actually roommates here at, at, at the university. You were not. Oh, he dated a lot. He was no. always <laughs> he was always out on a date. Yeah, always. Um, <laughs> but, but but the thing, you know. So is there that stigma that if you're 25 and you're in this culture and you're not married yet, that, that there's something wrong, that you're not okay? I think, I think there can be, but there shouldn't be. And they're not, they're, they're not always is. But I think some people feel like they should, and if they should find their, their mate before they're older, and if they didn't, then they're like a failure. But I don't think that's true. Because yeah. um, it's a false perception. It's absolutely false not perception. true. Yeah, yeah. But that false perception does exist in many quarters, and it sometimes it does cause stress and anxiety on people because they have that perception that uh, I'm not married yet, and I'm almost 25 years old. There's something wrong with me, a and so I think that's what you're trying to say in the song: is that don't worry about it. Just yeah, you're yeah, okay. you're enjoy okay. your life. I got you're a okay. car. I'm doing fine. And, and I, I'm thinking that's... <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, there's more to the lyrics than that, but yeah. Well, explain it. Tell it's us. Like, tell us. <laughs> um, it, it's kind of funny because like the first time I dated someone, I didn't have a car. And so I was like, I have a car. <laughs> so like usually I'm not one to say like talk about having a car, but that was kind of like something. And then the second person, I was like a really, really, really nice guy. And that was part of why it ended. And so <laughs> Too I nice. was like, I threw in those two things just reminiscing about... All right things in the past right. and so, it, says, it says really hard to get a second date is that based on your experience is that true is it difficult to get second dates? that was and mostly it, just because i thought it'd be funny oh and it, 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 it <laughs> rhymes with what you, you were. know it's it's, yeah, it yeah. it's funny though robert you you might be surprised how many guests that we've had on this podcast that have said that very thing yes that they yeah. do a lot of first dates and there are so few second dates lauren is i agree with those <laughs> yeah yeah very relatable. Mm -hmm. So it is. It's interesting well, that you said that. Well, here's the thing. I don't think like it, it's hard to find someone that you like want to go on a second date with and for it to work out for the second date. Um, but I think like actually going on two dates with a person is not the most difficult thing in the world. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be. Right. Right. Oh. Well, it's, it, it's this whole song was very interesting to me because it's kind of how we started this podcast. Yes, it is. Is to help people to understand that you know that 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 you're okay, that it's all right mm -hmm. if you're not dating, and that dating shouldn't be that difficult. It really mm -hmm. should come down to this whole idea, and our and our faithful listeners know this that, right. it, that it comes down to just going out to dinner, and just talking, and just having fun. And that if you do that enough, then the, the dates come and then the second dates come. But you can't sit home and hide yourself. You have to do right. exactly what you said and be happy with yourself mm -hmm. and be happy with the situation that you're in. Right. And, and uh, you know, we, we've kind of looked at the reasoning behind why we have this culture. And, you know, because we, we have such a, a structured organizational system within our culture. You know, when you're 12 years old, now 11, you get the priesthood, and then you become a teacher, and you and you so you have these periods of time that you progress. When you're 18, now you go on a mission, and and so there's kind of this expectation that there's a certain time period that you should get married, and that you should have kids, and that you should, and so that your life is all planned out. But the reality is, it's different for everybody, 
that people don't fall into those programs of, you know, and, and so that's increased by, you know, mission presidents. Many times when you leave the mission, they say, <laughs> well, elder, now your job is to go find a wife or to get married. And I understand what they're saying. You, you know, what they're really saying is the importance of the gospel of Jesus Christ is the covenant of the temple. And that's really important. We should be reemphasizing that when they're 12. Right. You know, instead of just pushing mission, 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 we should be pushing the importance of the relationship of the marital covenant because that's what marriage is really about. It's not going out and finding a, a wife. Yeah. It's about meeting someone that you're going to partner with, that you're going to, you know, we talk about the covenant path, and that's almost become a cliche, but that's what that is, is that the two of you are going to move through this life journey working together in a united way following Christ. And that message needs to start much, much earlier right. in the process than just the day you leave your mission. Okay, now, now go get you're married. done with mission. Right. Now go do the marriage thing. Right. It's a, I, the other reason I love this song um, is because uh, back uh, when I was a bishop, and Bob, you can you know you can relate to this yeah. as well. Uh, but when we were serving in the young single adult stake, um, we had I had so many uh, young men and young women come in to talk to me who were just absolutely depressed. I mean, very serious depression because why? They weren't dating. And because they weren't dating, they were unhappy. Um, and I love this song because yeah. it tells you that it's okay. It's okay to be happy. Um, and it really, this song really uh, was exciting for me because there's so many, so many people that are going to hear this podcast that are really struggling. Um, and it's okay to struggle, but it's, just, it's okay to be happy at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, Robert, what has been the reaction that you have gotten from people when you play this song? Has it been mostly positive? <laughs> um, it's, yeah, it's been usually laughs. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I shared it with, with Avery and, and some friends the other day, and I had them all. I told them it was one of those songs you had to, like, repeat or, like, you participate in. And you right. say, no, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's really, really not. Um, so they were like involved in the song and everybody was just cracking up. And when we brought in um, our neighbors and people in our ward to listen to it, it it's just kind of like a fun, people laugh at it. And, and, and then, why do you think that is? Why do you think people laugh at it? Because I feel like it's... It touches <laughs> close to home. <laughs> For a lot of us, yeah. I had I had people, I, I shared it on Facebook and I had people from like all over um, from the background of my life reach out and say like, wow, this song is amazing. Like, yeah. oh, this is totally relatable. Or like, wow. Um, one guy even was like, thanks for making such good content for the youth. And, <laughs> <laughs> and this was a non-member from my mission. Like a guy that I was, I was hoping to like maybe reach out to and help right. find the gospel. Like he was like, thanks for making a positive message. Out That's there. great. Yeah. But, that, that is great. And, and so you, uh, during the wrapping, you brought in the Tagalog part, and it, was, it made it very exotic. You know, it was kind of fun for that. <laughs> yeah. and, and so was that a later add-on? What, what made no, you think of putting actually, that in? Actually, so when I was testing, or when I was just playing these chords with my brother, um, he speaks Marshallese from his mission. Ah. And we both served a little Marshallese speaking. And, and so he was rapping in, like, Marshallese at home. Mm. And so I came back to the apartment and was like, Daniel, what if you rapped in Tagalog and he he did a rap in Tagalog and so wow. we actually when we recorded it on my birthday which is when I we actually brought all the pieces together we had a rap in Tagalog a rap in English from my brother I did, I did a rap in English and my other brother did a rap in Marshallese and his friend from Africa did a rap in French wow and oh. so that's cool the that's idea was that it would be kind of like one of those songs where the chorus is the same but then every time you sing it somebody else can like can sing jump, the rap can jump just, in. it's international yeah. It is the international. message has gone international. Wow, that's amazing. So let me think. Family of singers who live in Orem. Hmm. That sounds kind of like the Osmonds. The Osmonds. Yeah. I think or the Von, the Von Trapps. I, I, well, they, the Von Trapps did not live. The Von Trapps did not live in. Orem. I was going to say maybe but, they're going to climb Osmonds over the Alps. And and so if they go big, we could say that they were discovered right here on right the here Is Just Dinner podcast. Right here on the podcast. I wonder if the old Orem Studios for sale. You guys should go buy it. <laughs> and start huh. recording family songs. Yeah. David looks right. like he's ready to be a lead singer. I think he is. Well, <laughs> <laughs> might be a little, might, 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 might be a little Ma Michael Jackson thing going on there. Yeah. Uh, Lauren, yeah. what did you think of this song? I thought it was really relatable. It was just like <laughs> so 
I don't know. I think sometimes, at least for me in my head, I'm like, yeah, I'm single and it's great. And then the other half of my brain's like, no. <laughs> and so it's just like, like, it was just kind of funny to have that like vocalized. But then I think on the other side too, it's like, yeah, no, like, of course it, it is great to be single and it is great to like find your, find yourself and find happiness in yourself and like the things that you do. And then that way, when you do meet whoever you end up being married to then it's just like we were happy but now we're happy together that's right you know and so instead of making everything that like all your happiness reliant on somebody else so Mm -hmm. well what what, should we have him sing it again I think we should have you I sing think it we one should more have time. a second time. I would love to hear Let's it one, it one more, more time. time. Could we do it one more time? Can we get the background singers Gina, back get up, up here? here? Get back on it. it. Was so good the first, you know. So this is this is Robert Rex and his Von Trap Von Trap singers, <laughs> <laughs> uh, or Osmond singers with the backup, and he is singing. I am single, but I am happy. I'm still single. Oh, there I'm you go. Still, thank you. I knew I'd hack that up. Also, yes. <laughs> Can I, I want to correct something I said earlier. I think okay. I made it seem like maybe it's not hard to get a second date. I think it actually is hard to get a second date. Yeah. So yeah. I just want to make sure everybody heard that. Like, Okay, well, we, we've heard that from so many people. Yes, we have. Relatable. You know. Okay. okay. And, and don't Good be afraid correction. to go ask for a second date, everyone. It's, well, it, yeah. The, the worst thing that can happen is that he or she would say yes on the second date. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you have to go on a second date. <laughs> Isn't that a good thing, though? Hey, when see, the studio at... audience laughed at yeah, that. Yeah, they did. It was <laughs> good. It worked. We didn't have to keep All them right, so here's Robert Rex. Okay. My name is Robert, and I just turned 25. I drive a nice car, and I'm a really, really, really nice guy. My luck with the ladies really hasn't been that great. But I know one day I'll find a celestial maid. I'm still single, but I'm happy. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're no, really, really, really not. not. I'm still single, and it's cool. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's really, really not. I'm still single. And dito na ako, bunsan ng lima Meron na silang asawa pero ako pa wala Nag-aaraw pa ako sa eskwelahan ni Brigham Young Kahit gusto ng jowa, wala akong ganyan Naging misionero na ako sa kabila ng mundo Ang bansag Pilipinas ang pinuntahan ko Pero sa lahat ng nireleto, wala pang totoo Kami ng pag-ibig ay tipti pa rin ang kakasunod At pwede naman ako bumalik sa Pilipinas para maghanap ng asawa Kasi marami pa sa kanila na gusto maghanap ng asawa na katulad ko Pero ano pa rin ba ako? Binata pa, ano? I'm still single, but I'm happy. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're really, really not. I'm still single, and it's cool. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's, not. No, it's really, really not. But you just don't understand I walk all over campus Everybody's holding hands You tell me to be patient I'm trying to wait But it's really, really difficult To get a second date I'm not worried I'm just fine Hanging out with the boys Yeah, we have a good time Whatever the weather No matter the day I know that my mother's A phone call away Thanks, Mom <laughs> I'm still single But I'm happy Was time. better the second it was, it was time. Even and better the second and time. And it just makes you want to dance. It, well, it makes you great makes song. you want to Western clog dance. It does. What and it makes you want to do. And oh, yeah. we are so happy that you came on and shared that song with us yes. on the It's Just Dinner podcast. That was amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. Mm-hmm. 
Robert, we appreciate it. What's the future for you? What are, what are your future plans here? What are you up to? So I study economics and I have a minor in strategy. Nice. Wow. And my future plan is to make a difference somehow well, good in the for world. You. So That's great. Well, Robert, it's a pleasure to meet you, and thanks for bringing your entourage here, your relatives, your sister and your brother, your cousin. Great. Tagalog. How long have you been back from your mission? Four years. Four years. Four years. Wow. Nice. Excellent. Well, this was fantastic. What a, what a treat for us uh, here at the yes. podcast. It was just really fun. I think this ha has been the biggest night ever. It is. In the, and, it was, and a live studio podcast. audience. And a live studio audience. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Woo! yeah. That was just fantastic. Yeah. Hey, everybody, you can follow us on the yeah, It's Just Dinner YSA Instagram page. So please go and check us out. Also, we're at, at It's Just Dinner on TikTok. Did you know that, Bob? We're on TikTok. I did know that. We are on TikTok. And if you have any questions for us, or send in your strange, funny, weird date mm -hmm. stories at It's Just Dinner YSA at gmail.com. Right. Give us reasons to make fun of you. And you did can also <laughs> leave a review about no. this podcast. But like always, be nice. Mm -hmm. Because I can't take the pain. No. <laughs> so, well, thank you guys for being here. And hey, you guys, just go have fun out there, would you?